and cut. Hello, it's me again. I already recorded one video and the sound was terrible for some reason. I replaced this pad and I thought it was on the video, but it was not. So, let me take some other pad out, like this one. This is how you take the pad out. Easy peasy. The original washers are flat. I don't like those, so I used the dimpled one. Okay, wood flute is stained and when it gets a little wet, it leaves a brown mark on the pad. So I don't think there's too much you can do about that. They put a no-name pad in. And they put shims all over the place. Left and right and bottom and top and everywhere. So if you have shims everywhere like that, that means that the pattern was confused. The professional term for that is called chasing the leak. Like a dog chases its tail, Patterns chase leaks. So you put the pad, the shim here, and then you get the leak here, then you put the shim here, then you get the leak here, then you put the shim here, then you get the leak here, or something like that. And then it never ends. But that's only if you put the shim in the wrong place, because you did not really See where the, the leak was. So number one, you have to see where the leak is. I talk too much. Just to entertain you while I'm doing this boring job of cleaning inside the cup. So you can use a little bit of alcohol. I mean, it looks like I'm teaching you, but do not try to do this at home. Because just because. So now we have some original Pisoni pads we're gonna put in. Before we put it in, we want to mark 12 o'clock. So wherever we mark it, it's gonna be 12 o'clock. I like to start from the bottom and then continue on top just a little bit there is my 12 o'clock why 12 o'clock? because you always want to put the pad into in the same place now where is my screw? 
Can somebody tell me? Seriously? Oh, well, seriously, I don't think it's true. I must be blind. Well, I got a million screws in my drawer. So this is how you put it in. And then carefully screw it in like so. And there's the new pad. And these ones, you need something like this. This is custom made by yours truly. I made it thin and nice and round and smooth. I polished it so I don't damage the pad. So I can carefully pull this out. But I don't really care about damaging this one because I'm replacing it. So you want to clean up all the glue. just because you don't want to have anything inside. This is alcohol. In America we use denatured alcohol. But here if you ask for denatured alcohol, they look at you like you came from the moon. They're like, what is that? So this is the French pad, which does not come from France, but from Italy. French open hole. Good. 12 o'clock goes up like an every clock and I'm just gonna put a Delrin bushing inside. Who took away all my Delvin bushings? Seriously? They are gone! Really? Here you are. See, people take things and then they don't put them back. This is a Delrin bushing. Delrin is a type of plastic. What type? I have no idea. It's hard. And strong. So, put it in. You can push it in with your fingers and that is it. So like that, you do all the pads. That's all, folks, for today.